Okay, welcome back. My name's Chuck Morales. I'm the Director of Education here at A Number One Air. The last series we just finished up with was the Nest Thermostat, particularly on how to set the heat pump balance. But after that video, I have a few questions and phone calls came up and, and some great topics came up. And one of them was, how do we set this thermostat up for a dual fuel system? So what we're gonna do is go through the sequence of operation to set this thermostat up for the dual fuel. Okay, we're gonna take a look. This thermostat was set up for the heat pump, but before we uh, begin with the settings, or you could do after the settings, I do need to make one change with this thermostat on the wiring. Very easy to take off the wall. You just grab the thermostat, your pole, and it's off. Now what we have here, we have here actually the exposed wires. The W2 arc is, is set up for the heat pump setup. What I'm going to do is, since it's a dual fuel setup, I'm going to take and move this W2 to W1. Is W1 will become the first stage of the auxiliary heating. Okay, our W1 is now hooked up. So we have our W1, our G, and our star terminal, which is going to be for the dual fuel. We are now finished with this portion of the wiring to make the low minor change. To snap the thermostat back, and now we're ready to rock and roll. The next thermostat, the last time I did operate it within the off position, you can actually operate it in a heat position, cool position, or change the settings in why it's, why it's in those positions. I prefer in the off position right now so my voice can come through and I don't have to try to over talk this particular unit with its fan noise. But anyhow, we're gonna go back and it's the same thing. We have, I have the setting actually to a lower setting for the heat so we are sure that this unit doesn't come on while I'm speaking. But we're gonna take a look here for the new fuel system to set up. It's a similar same way, we're gonna press the screen and we're gonna turn it. So right now I'm gonna take and press this screen. It gets us to the window where it's gonna have a, a where I can go back to the temperature, or we, we're in Louisville, Texas, of course, but we're gonna go back to settings. So in order to set this thing up for dual fuel, we're gonna go ahead and press the window once, back to the equipment setup. Okay, once we get to equipment setup, I'm gonna go ahead and press this, and then I'm gonna hit continue. Uh, it's going to be continue again. And we're going to go down to the, actually the pro setup. The pro setup is a technician's friend. This is where we actually make all the configuration changes for this thermostat. So I'm going to press that window there and I'm going to continue. Because it actually says incorrect pro settings will cause unexpected HVAC activity or equipment damage. But since I guess it says we are the pro, we're going to go ahead and continue. And right here on this first screen, is this a dual fuel system? Right now it's set up on single fuel. Single fuel means if it's an electric heat, I set it up for single fuel. If it's a gas heat, I set it up for single fuel. But since I want a dual fuel system, we're going to go ahead and put it to dual fuel. We'll push the window again, and it brings us to a screen that says everything in green is completed and everything that's yellow is to be checked. However, when you're going to the dual fuel system, there is one change you, do, you will have to make and that is the start terminal. Let me go ahead and turn it. We're going to hit into, we hit the start terminal. Once we hit the start terminal, it says right here, emergency heat is for electric heat system and force air. So I'm gonna push this screen here. This is a very important setting in order to complete the dual fuel system. Okay, 
in the Type 2, I'm in the star setting, it has emergency heat, it has changed. I'm gonna push it one, it, highs, it highlights the emergency heat. When it does highlight the emergency heat, this is where I can make my changes. Now if I turn the screen, it now says dual fuel. So once we get that, I'm gonna press it, and it gives us the next bar, and it says the source, gas. All dual fuel systems are set up on a gas furnace. What dual fuel actually means is that we have a heat pump system with a gas furnace. We're going after efficiency here. So the most efficient system on the market will be a heat pump with a gas furnace. So once we set it up as the settings for gas, we're gonna set, oh, a gas all electric, let's scroll through it. Gives me all propane, geothermal, back to gas. So I'm gonna push the screen and the delivery is for sale. This is where I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna push the screen one more time. And this particular setting, it gives us one extra setting. If we look at it, it says fan, don't operate. Or if it says fan, if I scroll through it, it says operate. So I'm going to keep it on don't operate because this gas furnace, on a gas furnace, it operates the fan independently from the thermostat. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this one more time. It's gonna be in continue. Nope, I scrolled it up. Okay, my setting for my star terminal is now set to dual fuel. My thermostat is set to dual fuel, but there's still one more setting left. And let's go ahead and we're gonna push done. And it's gonna bring us back to a screen and give us a reading. It's gonna say heat pump, alternate heating, emergency heating, heat pump cooling, and fan. So now we know that this heat pump is operated on some type of alternate heat, heat source, which will be a gas furnace. We're gonna go ahead and press it again, continue. And we're gonna scroll down, let me get my glasses back on. We're gonna scroll down to, you push the dual fuel button. It's gonna give me a temperature. It says your alternate heat, when the outside temperature is below that set point, then the alternate heater does come on. Alternate heat means that what temperature do I want my furnace to take over and my heat pump to shut down? Now, we can set it up for many different settings, efficiency, reliability, uh, and those are the two settings. The settings down here in Texas that we look at, and I have it set already, is 40 degrees. And the way we set the settings, it actually can turn the dial to set the maximum will be 40, I mean 50. So I'm gonna put the dollar back at 40. The reason we chose this is because here in Texas, a heat pump at 40 degrees, it's usually raining, it's, it's, it's humid, and the units uh, at times will begin to frost over and the heat pump defrost cycle will start to take over. Usually about that time is the gas furnace becomes more efficient. So at 40 degrees, this unit will now drop the heat pump out and bring the gas furnace in as the alternate heat. I'm gonna go ahead and push the screen again. We're gonna push done. Go back to our temperatures. And now we can turn the heat on and the system is programmed for dual fuel. Short and sweet.